Hi friends, so I'm back today with another dresser makeover and I'm super excited about this one. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ebony. I'm a furniture artist and I specialize in taking neglected pieces of furniture and turning them into something beautiful. So we actually picked this one up a couple of months ago. This was the last piece that we picked up in our old work truck and I'm finally getting my hands on it. So I'm really excited and I just wanna jump right in. So let's get started. Now you guys know I always start by removing all of the hardware and then I put it in one safe place. So I'm gonna throw it all in a Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna move on to the cleaning process. So I just wanted to take a quick moment to show you guys that this is a Thomasville dresser. These dressers are actually my favorite because the quality is just so up to my standard and I, I love the way that these dressers were built. So for the cleaning process, I'm gonna use my universal drill attachments and I was inspired by some videos that I had seen on Instagram. And I will say, I think it is worth the little investment. It's only about $10. It comes with three different parts. You can extend it, which I'll show you guys here in just a moment. And it definitely takes away from all of the elbow grease that I have to put in. So after I finished the rinsing process, I was ready to move on to the sanding part. So for this process, I'm going to do a thorough sanding on the top of the dresser and a scuff sand on the rest of the dresser with a medium grit sandpaper. Okay, so after you have sanded everything, you wanna make sure you wipe back all of your sanding dust and then you're ready to move on to primer. I like to use Zinzerbin Shellac Base Primer because it has amazing blocking properties and then also, of course, for adhesion. So in my case, I'm not really worried about any bleed through with the color that I'm using today, but this is still my go-to primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it through this strainer that I got at Lowe's. I find that they're the cheapest at Lowe's. They come in a four pack. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this pour spout that I also got at Lowe's to help me save on my product. I don't wanna waste any of it just because one, it's very expensive and two, I don't like the mess. So after I've done that, I'm gonna immediately clean off this pour spout using ammonia, which I get at the dollar store and I just pour it in a bucket and then it's just as good as new. So that's my tip for you guys and now we're ready to spray.
So you always want to sand in between your layers with a fine grit sandpaper just to get an extra level of smoothness. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to blow away all of my sanding dust. And from there, we'll be ready to paint. So today I'm using this color called Salamander by Benjamin Moore. I think it's an absolutely beautiful color and it's very rich and very deep. But this paint is actually from Sherwin-Williams and it's something that I used about a year ago, just my leftovers and I just wanted to kind of do another use what you have furniture makeover. But you'll see here in a moment where we ended up going in a different direction with my paint. I will say, Although this paint does have a built-in top coat, I don't really love the way that it sprays. And I noticed I also had some issues with my spray pattern even a year ago when I did another dresser in this exact paint. So like I said, you're gonna see what direction we ended up going in, but I worked it out nonetheless. Good morning, everybody. So I'm gonna just try to quickly explain where we are. So I put two coats of paint on this dresser already, but it's not completely even everywhere across and it does need another coat of paint. I also need to paint the front of the doors. You can see them there, um, but I ran out of paint. So I ran down to Sherwin-Williams to get some more and they're having a hard time getting things in stock apparently. And this is one of those products that they couldn't, couldn't get in. And they did call around, but other stores didn't have it either. So I was kind of stuck trying to figure out what my next move was going, going to be. I went down to Dan Edwards and he recommended a product that I could see, you know, and try and see if I like it. So it was only $15 for the quart, which I thought was a good price because if I end up needing two, I'll still be maybe about $100 in, in supply cost total. So I think that's pretty good. Hopefully this product works well for me. Um, and I'm just going to hit the entire piece all over because I know I went to two different stores and it was a color match. So I want to make sure that this dresser is even. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff sand it um, using this, this sandpaper. I might even go up to a 120, we'll see. And then once I've finished that, I'm going to be ready to paint. So we're going to get into it. Okay, so I just wanted to jump in real quick and kind of give you guys an update because now that I'm doing the voiceover portion of this video, it's been several days since I've painted this dresser. And I will say the dry time is one thing that I'm struggling with. It does have a four to six hour recoat time, which is already a, a bit excessive for me, but I do notice that the paint is still a little bit sticky, at least for my taste. It's dry enough, but I'm used to my paint drying a lot harder at this point in the process. So that's the only thing that I've noticed about this paint. Other than that, I do like it. The court did go a long way and I will give it another try with maybe a gravity fed spray gun. I know that if I use a gravity fed gun, the paint will spray a lot thinner. So I'm gonna just try a couple things and give it another chance, but that's just where I am currently. Time to polish the hardware. We're gonna go ahead and boil it in a 50-50 ratio of water and distilled white vinegar. I wanted to try to find a good place to show you guys kind of what it's looking like after it's been boiled, but this here will just peel right off. I guess it looks like it was spray painted in the past. So 
once you boil it for so long, it kind of just comes apart. Okay, so now it's time to add my legs that I ordered on Amazon. And from here, we're getting ready to see the reveal of this dresser. I'm really excited and I'd love to know your guys' thoughts down below. So don't forget to leave a comment before you go.